For train detection, I use current detectors. This is achieved using a BMD 16N SD board from Holland. I'll leave a link in the description. The board comes self assembly. If you source the board from the company and then sourcing the components, depending on where you get the components depends on how much it costs. For me, the board and the components was under £30 per port. This is linked to my ECOS command station via the S88 bus link. As the board does drop a bit of voltage, it's important that the parts of the track that are not being detected have the same voltage. This is achieved using a bridge rectifier linked from ECOS to the non detected parts of the track. Once you've got this in place, we need to isolate the parts of the track we want detected. For this, I use Pico isolating joints. We also need the board connected to the track before the bridge rectifier. And then we start putting in a link to each part of the isolated track. As we'll see shortly how this works with the ECOS command station. If you've got more boards, then just simply daisy chain them. Each board has 16 units of detection and you can link, I think it's up to 100 boards, therefore. 